Peace, love, prosperity, abundance, self-love, self-care, wisdom, knowledge, patience, understanding, understanding, resting, standing, all the four corners of the year, standing, family, how y'all doing? I hope each and every one of you is doing great, doing good, and taking care of yourself. You know, without you, there won't be no you know, family, that is, if you got kids, if you got animals, anybody that depend on you, if you ain't there, they cannot have that dependent to depend on. So you always make sure you put you first, okay? I appreciate you for tuning in. So um, I've been, I think last week I came across a video of a, a white woman who is no more identifying herself as a white woman or a Caucasian woman. She identifies herself as a person of color, black woman, brown wo or brown woman. And I found out that she is a teacher and um, she lost her job because she referred to herself as a person of color. And when I came across that video, I was reading the comments and people were just saying a lot of, a lot, a lot of mean, negative comments, you know, and I see things a little different. So I'm going to share my little two cents in my point of view and i would like for y'all to also if you want to you don't have to but if you have anything to say you can also leave a comment i think a lot of people forget that we live in a world that men natural born men right can start to dress like women and um change their sex and um, participate in women's activity, women's sports. We have natural born men that call themselves cross dressers and they will share a locker, they will share bathrooms with natural born women. We have men that will dress like women that are teaching our kids in school, we don't seem to have problem with that. There are some women that are non-blacks. So today, let me just say, there are some white women, or let me say, not even white women, Spanish women, that will claim they are Afro-Latina when it's convenient, when it's beneficial to them. And these are the same women that will, on the other hand, say that they're not black, they're not Afro-Latina. So it's like they Af they Afro-Latina when they need the black people's support. And a lot of black people fall for that. When they, when they don't need black people's support, they're not Afro-Latina, they're not black. All of a sudden, I'm Latina, I'm Hispanic. Now you got this woman right here that isn't only pretending you know, I didn't grow up in America, but I've seen some of the comedy where our, our Caucasians who paint their face, um, black face, just to act on, the, on, 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 on TV screen for laughs and for whatever. And after that, is, that show is done, they wipe it off. I respect this woman so much because all these things, Things, let me say analysis that I just gave, examples that I just gave, is real. We have men that are sharing bathrooms with women. If you were men and you're watching this video, there are men sharing bathrooms with your daughters. People don't seem to worry about that. This lady is not claiming to be black for, bene for something beneficial. She is living the life. She is living the life. The treatment that black women go to. She is living it. She's not, she's not acting white and then someday she's black just to get black people's support. No, she is living as a black woman. And as a black woman, as a colored woman, I am proud that there is somebody that want to be like us. She's not faking to get cornrows, to get views on social media. She's not faking to be with a black man, to have mixed babies and go, but my, my baby daddy is black. She's not, she is living the life. 
And I thought that my black people would be appreciative, but they don't see that. Again, she lost her job because they said she had an OnlyFans, right? Now, I don't have OnlyFans. So I don't know what she posts on her OnlyFans. But a lot of people are not paying attention to what the real problem is. Maybe if teachers were getting paid good salary, decent money, I don't think teachers would be out here starting OnlyFans. I got some professors in my college that are professors full time and they work after being, they got a side gig. I got professors that work in hospitals and then they still professors in college. Why? Because the pay is peanuts. Who want to be working two jobs if one job can sustain them? And I went through the comment and people were being so mean and I'm like, y'all don't see it. Y'all quick to support celebrities that are fake Afro Latinas when they need your support. But this woman is not faking it. She is living the life. It's not a costume that she's wearing and she go take it off. She is going through it. And I'm only 30 some years old. I don't know how many women that have done that. But I salute this woman. Because for the first time, there is one woman who is actually experiencing what black women go through. And um, if a man can decide and say, hey, I'm a woman, and get to participate in women's sports, what crime has she committed? She's still a woman. She only darkened her skin. I don't know if she tanned it. Whatever she did, she, is, she can be whatever she want to be. Your body is a house for your soul. It's a space suit. You won't take it with you. And I hope that people see this video, see this message and hear it. Not with their emotions, but really with their conscience. That maybe if she was being paid a good salary, she wouldn't have open and only fans. Most people don't see that. They don't get that. She hasn't, she didn't commit a crime. She's not teaching your kids in school that it's okay for the men to cut their pee pee and make it a V or, or for the V to cut their V and make it a P. She's not teaching that. She has family too. She's a human being. She has a soul. She has the breath of God inside of her. And that breath of God is not a man, it's not a woman, it's not a, a white, it's not a black, it's not Asian, it's, it's pure light. I know people are going to come for me, but when I saw that video, I actually sent a, I said a prayer, I sent some positive energy, I said, God, give this lady strength. There is something going on in our education system that people don't see. There's things going on in, our, in women's sports that people don't see. I'm not going to talk too long. I'm going to end it here. Feel free to share your view. This is what I think. It's about time they pay teachers the money they deserve. They work hard. Some, some of our kids are bad, and these teachers have to deal with them. She's not hurting nobody. Thank you for watching. NAACP leader who former NAACP leader who resigned after misidentifying herself as black has broken her silence on social media. Rachel Dolezal, now known as Nikechi Diallo, made national headlines when she was let go from the Catalina Foothills School District here in Tucson after it was discovered she was posting explicit material on OnlyFans. Diallo took on Instagram posting this selfie on her stories this past Friday. Along with the picture are words saying, keep on living, written on it. The 46-year-old was fired last week after school administrators learned that she had the OnlyFans account. 
Dolezal was first hired by the district in August of last year, and her contract was set to end by this May.